Blue Star Warrior One here. All the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. Don't know the day or hour, but be prepared. It could happen any moment. It could happen right now, for all we know. Every breath we take gets closer and closer to Lord Jesus Christ coming and rapturing his bride, the 144K. <clears throat> all right. And remember, accept Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. You die on your cross for your sins. Holy Spirit, please, please be with me. Please fill me, Holy Spirit, with yourself. Uh, okay. God, please fill me with the Holy Spirit. Please wash me in Lord Jesus Christ's precious blood. Please do the same for my viewer, viewers, if that is your will. Please guide me and help me understand what I'm reading. And please, please help my viewers understand as well. As long as they have not taken the mark, mark in Lord Jesus Christ's holy name. I'm going to read the first chapter of Deuteronomy. It's going to be a long one. All right. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea between Parah and Tophiel, Laban, and Hazaroth and Dizarabah. There are eleven days' journey from Horebi by the way of Sir unto Kadesh Barea. And it came to pass in the fortieth year in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spank unto the children of Israel, according unto all that the Lord had given him in a commandment unto them. After he had slain Sidon, the king of the Amorites, which dwelt in Heshbon, and Og, the king of Bashan, which dwelt at Asheroth in Edurai, on this side, Jordan, in the land of Moab, began Moses to declare this law, saying, The Lord our God spank unto us in Horeb, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you, and take your journey, and go to the mount of the Amorites, and unto all the places, high thereunto, in the plain, in the hills, and in the Baal, and in the south, and by the seaside to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, and unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them, and to their seed after them. And I spake unto you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you there myself alone. The Lord God, your God, hath multiplied you. And, behold, ye are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as ye are, and bless you, so as he hath promised you. How can I myself alone bear your cumbrance, and your burden, and your strife? Take you, wise men, and understanding, and am known among your tribes, and I will make them rulers over you. And ye shall, and ye answered me, and said, The thing which thou hast spoken is good for us to do. So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men, and known, and made them heads over you, captains over thousands, and captains over hundreds and captains over fifties, and captains over tens, and officers among your tribes. And I charged you judges at that time, saying, Hear the causes between your brethren, and judge righteously between every man and his brother, and the stranger that is with him. And ye shall not res respect persons in judgment, but ye shall hear the small as well as the great, Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is, of, is God's, and the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. And I commanded you at that time all the things which ye should do. And when we depart from Horeb, we went through all the great and terrible wilderness, which ye saw by the way of the mountain of the Amorites. And the Lord God, our Lord our God, commanded us, and we came to Kadesh Barea. And I said unto you, Ye are come into, unto the mountain of the Amorites, which the Lord our God doth give unto us. Behold, the Lord our God hath sent the land 
before thee, go up and possess it, as the Lord God of thy fathers hath said unto thee. Fear not, neither be discouraged. And ye came near unto me, every one of you, and said, We will send men before us, and they shall search us out the land, and bring us word again by which way we must go up, and into what cities we shall come. And the saying pleased me well, and I took twelve men of you, one of a tribe. And they turned and went up into the mountains, and came into the valley of Eshkol, and searched it out. And they took of the fruit of the land in their hands, and they brought it down unto us, and brought us word again, and said, It is good land, which the Lord our God doeth give us. Notwithstanding ye would not go up, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God. And ye murmured in your tents, and said, Because the Lord hated us, and hath brought us forth out of the land of Egypt, to deliver us un into the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us. Whither shall we go up? Our brethren have discouraged our hearts, saying, The people is greater and taller than we, the cities are great and walled up to heaven, and moreover we have seen the sons of the Anakims there. And then he said unto you, Dread not, neither be afraid of them. The Lord your God, which goeth before you, he shall fight for you according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. And in the wilderness, where thou shalt seen how that the Lord thy God bare thee, as a man doth bear his son, in the in all the way that ye went, until ye came into unto this place. Yet in this thing ye did not believe the Lord your God, who went in the way before you to search out you out a place to pitch your tents in a fire by night. To shew, to shew you by what way you should go, and a cloud by the day. And the Lord heard your voice, voice of your words, and was wroth and sway, saying, Surely there shall not one of these men of this evil generation see that land, that good land, which I swear to give unto your fathers. Save Calab, the son of Jephonith, he shall see it, and to him... Will I give the land that he hath trod upon, and to his children, because he hath wholly followed the Lord? Also the Lord was angry with me for your sake, saying, Thou also shall not go in hither. But Joshua the son of Nun, which strandeth before thee, he shall go to in hither. Encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Moreover, you little ones, which ye said, should be a prey, and your children, which in that day had no knowledge of good and evil, they shall go in hither, and unto them I will give it, and they shall possess it. But as for you, tur turn you, and take your journey into the wilderness, by the way of the Red Sea. Then he, he answered and said unto me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and go up and fight according to all that the Lord our God commanded us. And when ye had griddled on every man his weapons of war, ye were ready to go up into the hill. And the Lord said unto me, Say unto them, Go not up, neither fight, for I am not among you, lest ye be smitten before your enemies. I spank unto you, and ye would not hear but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord, and went presumptuously up into the hill. And the Amorites, which dwelt in that mountain, came out against you, and chased you, as bees do, and destroyed you, and sir, even unto Haramah. Ye and you returned and wept before the Lord, but the, God, but the Lord would not hearken to your voice, nor give ear to, unto you. So you abode in Kadesh many days according unto the days that ye abode there. And Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen, amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for your word. Thank you. Please bless your holy word, God, please. 
And God, please be with all my viewers, all my subscribers, all their family members, all their loved ones. Please fill them all with the Holy Spirit. Wash them all in Lord Jesus Christ's blessed blood. Please lead them all to Lord Jesus Christ. Please bless them with the heart healing and deliverance they need. Please bless them with good finances so they have a roof over their heads. And please, God, please bless them with good help. And please bless them with good food and wash all their food in Lord Jesus Christ's blood. Please do this for them as long as they have not taken the mark. And please do this if this is your will, God, as well. And please fill your whole, your humble servant with the Holy Spirit. Wash me in Lord Jesus Christ's blood and use me in any way you see fit. And praise God, praise God, praise God. And Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen and amen. And remember, always take up the, the Holy Word uh, with God. Ask Him to send the Holy Spirit to guide you and help you understand. God bless you all, as long as you have not taken the mark. And Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen, amen.